Hi everyone, this is Sunet and in this video we're having a look at loneliness. It is interesting that in, in the world of today where you have so many people, where you can even have the closest friends, um, the most caring and attentive parents or family, you can even be in a relationship or you can be alone uh, with no friends, no family, um, no uh, particular connection with, with anyone really. And yet in, in both circumstances, the, the experience of loneliness can be present. So this kind of begs the question of whether that experience or that feeling of loneliness is, is because of having people in your life or you know, not having people in your life. Because you can, you can ask some people who have many connections, many relationships, and they still have this experience of loneliness within them. You can sometimes even have someone who is alone completely in this world, yet they're not lonely. They don't experience loneliness. So, I mean, we, we sometimes think that this loneliness is because we, we don't have that relationship with someone or that connection or that closeness or intimacy or, you know, that, that Loneliness, to not be lonely, is, is dependent on other people. But again, I bring you back to what I said a moment ago. There are some people who are really alone. They don't have anyone, but they're not lonely. Again, you have other people who have everyone, and yet they are lonely. So, what is this loneliness then? Where does it come from? How can it exist within yourself? So, here we're going to have a look at this loneliness feeling, that experience. Um, what many may be able to relate to is that um, it almost feels like you're, you're disconnected from, from other people. You're looking for something, but you don't know what it is. Or you, it's like a part of you can't define it. So, let's have a look at a visual of that disconnect that happens. Let's say you're here, um, and I mean also in, in having a look at oh, holiday times, um, you know, where they're celebrating like the family and loved ones coming together and, you know, like a, it, it represents a, a unitedness coming together, everyone there for each other and with each other. And it's interesting because it's also during, during those times you know, holiday times, celebrations, um, uh, uh, various religious holidays and things like that, where it, you can sometimes feel like you're here and everyone else is around you and you're almost, you can see you know, into everyone else's worlds and you can see through everyone else's eyes and it looks like everyone else is so happy and everyone else has got all these relationships and family and friends and they can go on holidays and you know celebrate things together and you know how they're also doing all the advertising and things and the media and stuff like that what does that do to you it makes you feel even more lonely more uh, alone like but i don't have that and I don't experience that and uh, you know I, I, I long for for such a connection for such a family for such friends for such a relationship you know why am I all alone why does this loneliness exist within me it's almost you know this loneliness can make you feel like everyone else is really shoving it in your face you know especially during the holiday times religious holidays family times and things like that it's like everything's coming at you saying yeah you're alone you've got no one you've got nothing 
um, and like you cannot share almost within those experiences within those celebrations because it's like inside of you it just feels like there's just nothing you know because that loneliness is just taking over everything inside of you it's almost like a part of you goes huh i wonder what it feels like to have a family like that or have friends like that or you know be in a relationship you know loneliness can take over to such an extent where part of you doesn't even remember how it must feel like or could possibly feel like having all of that you know um, in your life or inside yourself so now in in having a look at that disconnect that, that you could be experiencing um, when you're seeing everyone else I have a question for you you know when you're seeing everyone else you're seeing all the adverts you know in the media and how they're portraying family coming together and friends and relationships and things um can can you read everyone else's minds no you cannot so i mean everything for example that's being advertised in the media or everything that you're seeing as an observer from the outside how do you know whether what those people are really showing to everyone else in the world to see is even real. Why am I asking that? Because I'm going to show you how your experience of loneliness or, or being alone is actually mostly based on perception, based on an idea that you created inside yourself in relation to what you're seeing with everyone out there. Because I've got another question for you. I mean, if you have a look at some times where you could have been really broken inside of you, you know, something happened in your life and you were really upset, really emotional, but you were in a situation where you couldn't show it, right? So you put a smile on your face, you lit up your eyes, you changed your behavior and you're like, everything's fine. Everything's perfect. But inside yourself, that was not the truth. So, I mean, it's interesting about most people in the world out there. It's very easy to put up a, a presentation uh, portraying something for everyone else in the world out there. But very seldom is that actually the truth. I mean, you, you might not even know what's really going on in people's minds, in people's lives, in the relationships with their family, with their friends, with their partners. I mean, you, as an observer, could have only seen them for a moment where they could have been snuggling together and holding hands and this huge family having a supper, you know, in a restaurant, everyone's smiling and happy. But that's just a moment. You don't know what's the history within all those relationships, what's really going on in everyone's minds. Um, again, what's going on behind closed doors. So. I'm going to assist and support you just for a moment before we do. Let's have a look at this presentation over here. All right, so I'm going to assist and support you to have a look at how you can change this, this perception, this idea of what you're seeing and observing with, from everyone out there and how you're interpreting that inside yourself and how a part of you is like taking those moments of observation and comparing it to yourself and your life and then you think or believe that because you don't have that you're lacking something or, or missing something like you 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 don't have all of that when in fact you have yourself you know what what does it mean to be content, comfortable, happy with you? And I mean, it's okay. I mean, like, for example, if you, if you don't have all those family things or the relationship things or the friends things, you know, those connections, if you don't have that, it's okay to want that, meaning to be a part of that. I mean, we're, we're human, you know, we, we'd like to be part of, we'd like to have that connection, you know, be part of things. And that's great. That's okay. It's just when it comes to emotionally reacting to it in a way that it changes you and, and affects you 
and to the point where you can start isolating yourself from people that point we need to address so that i mean you can essentially rather than go out there and create relationships for yourself you know if you are at this moment really literally alone and isolated and lonely how can you assist and support yourself to then rather go out there find that connections become part of people's lives and I mean, if you, for example, are right now in a, a social situation where you've got so many people in your life and yet you still feel lonely and alone, what does that mean? What, what, what is existence in that dimension of aloneness or, or, or loneliness that we can assist and support you with? All right, we'll go to here for this video. We'll see you in the next. Thank you.